I am here to say good evening, YouTube family. I am committed to the pen. I'm committed to the pen. Do you see this commitment? I want to talk about something that I haven't heard people talk about. I've been enjoying this tar Park Avenue Princess for two years. Two years. You can find this palette when I first received it, maybe it's three years ago. And I had not tried to pan it. I was using it. And now that I'm completing it, I want to try something different. Tell me if these glasses are irritating you. Are these glasses irritating you? Because I am loving these glasses right now. These glasses and these are just really expressing my true, true feeling about panning this gorgeous, beautiful palette, which is still available. Park Avenue Princess palette is still available, and it is still the original Kaolin formula that lasts forever. And I mean, I have it on right now. Let me show you. That's the Park Avenue Princess highlight. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, there it is. Um, there's the blush. It's right there. Yes, yes. Y you can see it's the exact same color on my cheeks. Oh, my goodness. Ah. I'm experiencing separation anxiety because I have finished this palette and I have not purchased another one because I intend to pan some palettes. And if I keep on buying my old standby, which I will probably do, let me just confess to that, let me confess, I will probably purchase another one when Tarte has a 30% off sale. Just saying, just saying. I might as well just, yes, yes, okay, there you, you made me tell it. But I'm still... Up until I actually do that and I have that back up in the drawer, I'm looking at this and I'm like, life was so easy. I had this one palette, I mean, just like my white friends. Yeah, because the other ones, <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show you what I am having to attempt to pan now. I had this one palette, blush, highlight. See that pretty golden color there? I'm gray. So that golden orangey color every day every day every day every day right there just everywhere just you see it you see it it's not a contour I don't need contour I got bones everywhere I am a bony person I got bones in places that other people have never seen human bones outside of a anatomy physiology class so I don't really need a deep contour, although I love contour and I do contour. Yeah, I have on contour today. Okay, I'll just admit it. I have on contour, but it's not. If I didn't contour, I'm already bony, okay? Bones are what you are attempting to show when you contour. I'm just doing overkill. But <laughs> in any event... This palette, blush, highlight, bronze. Oh, so, so, it was so good for two years. It's Kaolin. Kaolin doesn't sink into wrinkles. So I look, my skin looks like, oh, you know, you didn't age. But when you see me in this talc, you're like, mm, girl, you need to, you need to take better care of yourself. So illusion is a beautiful thing. That's why we do this, right? Okay, I'm going back into my shade. I'm going to show you what I'm having to have to pan now. I'm braving a new world, and I may find a new love eventually. Mm -hmm. This palette I am panning, as you see, never been touched. This is supposed to be my bronzer, I think. This 
is the only thing that I think. Let me see. This is my highlighter. Okay. So, yeah, that's a highlighter. And so I've got three highlighters. The good thing about this palette is I do have a finishing powder. And I'm going to try my new brush from my Fear Set. And I'm just going to, I got a little bit of that in there. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so that's nice. I like that. Do you guys see how that just banished all that? Yeah, my, my under eyes weren't set. That's why I'm doing this video. So that's nice. And then we have a blush there. This blush looks nice. It looks like something that I would wear as a blush. Okay. I'm not a, mm, that's pretty, I like that, yeah. Ooh. Okay, that looks like spring. I know it's subtle, but as much as this costs, it better last like my, um, and I am stippling it on because, um, I know, mm, but I really like it. Okay. Mm -hmm. This was my little standby, which I love, but I like this blush and I can see, this is the subtle one. This is not the really bright one, but I have this setting powder here. Oh, this stuff is blowing up a storm. And I'm gonna take um, some of this bronzing powder here and mix it with this one here. This is a gold. I want to save that for summer. I like a pink highlight at this time of year. These still might be a little bit gold. I'm used to my Park Avenue Princess, which is a, a pink toned highlight this time of the year. Okay, so I'm feeling a little better about painting this palette. I like the blush, and I think that it's getting a little deeper. I think it's getting a little more rosy toned on my cheek, and it's bringing out my lip tone a little better. And I feel like this cheek is looking more youthful, like it just popped up as, a, a, you know, a millis, a millis inch or a millicentimeter or something like that <laughs> but I'll take you know in the in the war with gravity I'll take anything I can get you know if it's going this way sounds good to me so I'm feeling a little bit that that makes me feel so much better about the concept of panning the palette and I'm feeling like okay I got a new man now okay <laughs> so t that this gets me highlight setting powder and blush so that's good i'm going to pan this palette i don't know how long it's going to take me to do that but i will be working on it and god knows when that update is going to come because it's brand spanking new this is an old palette but this palette here was back when companies would introduce their products in these small sizes so you could try them out and then later on you would uh, move on to buy the product and so I am going to pan this this is my replacement here this is all bronzes look at this one it's just shiny like a beacon in the sun and I love it this gold is a beautiful it was a limited edition highlight. I don't know if it's permanent now. I've had this. Uh, this is Too Faced. <laughs> I must have bought 100 Too Faced palettes. They had a sale. I bought 100 Too Faced palettes. I gave everybody palettes. I sold palettes on eBay. And this, I'm down to my last two of those palettes. And I loved every one of them. 
but this was the bronzing palette and this bronzer there's no mirror in here this bronzer here is going to replace my park avenue princess this is a talc based bronzer it's called chocolate soleil it smells delicious it's got a nice bronzy color which oh yeah that's it that's that's what mama want that's what mama want right there mm -hmm. mama want that right there oh yes mama wants some color you know mama want to look alive yes uh-huh that's what i use a bronzer for i use a bronzer to take away that dull winter color and give my skin some vibrance to make it look like I just had 10 cups of coffee and I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. Let me at them, let me at them, let mm -hmm. me at them. That's what bronzer does for me. So this is my second palette that I'm panning and out of this, it's just gonna be the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Again, I'm not setting any limitations. I'm just gonna be working on it and we will get where we get. I'm not gonna rush it, I'm gonna enjoy the ride. Lastly, I don't know if I need to do this for now. I thought the blush wasn't going to work out for me. But I knew that this blush palette by Hourglass was going to be beautiful. Oh my. I've been a bad girl. I've been using this palette, but I'm being too I'm being too rough with it. Look at that powder in there. I'm being too rough with it. Maybe this Maybe I need to get a powder puff for this blush. Because I've done some stuff to it and I don't want to waste it. So this is probably from the color in the middle there because um, I probably really like that. I'm trying to, I might get a powder puff to use for this because, um, any suggestions? I'm not in a hurry to use up this expensive stuff. I am going to use it consistently. And I resisted my urge to just go get what I know. I got this right here. And, okay. Yeah. I do love these hourglass blushes, uh, whatever they are. Uh, these are blushes, but the others were all different kinds of products. I do like them because they make me look more useful. So that's the three palettes that I am replacing my one palette with. I may defer later and say, oh, I could just wait on this one because I can use that blush for springtime, I think. Please comment below if you think that the the two palettes, the bronzing palette and then this all-in-one palette, hourglass all-in-one palette. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll do this right now. And I won't bring this in until summer. In the summertime, I may need this. Or I could do these. I could go with these other three colors in the summer for bronzing because they are glowy. Yeah, okay, I think I'm gonna narrow it down. Erase this one, I'm gonna save this one. I'm going to use these two palettes here for my, my pan this palette. I will use the other palette and comment below if you want a review with me showing how these hourglass blushes look on me. I know that this palette is still available right now on Sephora and usually Hourglass what they do is they'll release the palette and then they they come out with the colors and their permanent thing I love that that's what I want I want to try it and then buy it thank you for watching this video and rate comment and subscribe